Okay, so supposedly Instagram is coming out with this brand new feature on its platform that's gonna save photography. <laughs> yeah, okay. We all know photography is dead on Instagram and social media, except Twitter, oddly enough. But this new feature is a 9x16 format, so that means that the photo is going to take up the whole entire screen of your iPhone, which is pretty cool. Maybe it could save photography. I doubt it, but seeing a photo in a full 9x16 file format instead of a 4x5 would actually be kind of nice. And if we know anything about Instagram, it's when they come out with a new feature and you use it as a content creator, they will push your content like crazy. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to export your photos in a 9x16 file format and the best export settings. We're gonna use Photoshop. We're gonna make your photos look super high quality for Instagram, for its compression algorithms and everything that it uses when you post one of your photos. Now, this might seem like a lot of extra work going into these export settings and using Photoshop, but if you aren't willing to put in the extra work for your content, then is your content going to put in the extra work for you? Think about that. Now, before we dive into this video, don't forget to subscribe for more of NTV's comment. Don't forget to leave a like. We are going to dive into this video and make sure you stay tuned until the end because I have an iPhone Pro photo tip for you. So let's dive in. All right, so we're in Photoshop. I have my final photo here. Now this is in the nine by 16 aspect ratio. This is the four by five that we've been using up until now, but since Instagram is gonna go full screen, let's make our photos full screen as well. So this is what we have. So to export this for Instagram, to make it look as best as possible, we're gonna go to file. We're gonna go to export and we're gonna go to save for web. Now that's gonna bring up this menu here. So there's a couple things that we need to be aware of. First of all, we want to export it as a JPEG, not a GIF, anything else. We want just a JPEG. We want to make sure that our quality is 100%. Why would you want any less quality than that? We're going to make sure that optimize is selected and we're also going to embed the color profile, which this is the color profile that I decided to go with. It's sRGB, which is what's accepted for most websites and everything like that. Now a preview, when you, we want to use document profile, Metadata, of course, you want to keep the copyright information on there. And if you haven't added your copyright info into your camera, you should do that right now. Image size, we're going to leave it at 2700 by 4800 because that's the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. So there's nothing that we need to change there. We want to keep it at 100%. And I like sharp images. So I'm going to choose by Cubic Sharpener. You can go with smoother if you want but I like a very sharp, punchy image, so that's what I decided to go with. And then we're gonna hit save. And here's our nine by 16, super sharp, ready for Instagram image, ready to take up that full screen nine by 16 whenever they launch that feature. Now, if you have the iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, you can shoot raw images and since so many of us are uploading our photos to Instagram directly from our phones, I thought I would show you guys this little tip. So let's step outside and I'll show you something. Okay, so I have my camera open here and we have a four by three aspect ratio, which is usually what the iPhone has by default. We have black bars along the top and the bottom. So if you hit this arrow up top here, it changes the settings. So we can change it from four by three to 16 by nine. So now when I take a photo, it will take up the whole screen rather than a four by three with the black bars along the top and the bottom. So full screen and then the four by three the old way. So this is how you want to shoot your photos if you're going to upload things onto your iPhone so that way you take advantage of the full screen. All right, so that concludes the video. Super sweet, short, to the point. Hopefully you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.